Hi guys, VST here, Van Aspix Tech. What do the people say? Happy New Year! So every New Year, a new version of the most popular Google camera by Euronix version 1.9. All right, guys, so this one has been released at the very first day of the New Year. You can check 1st of January 2020. Almost working, except slow motion. So don't complain, right? We know already, slow motion is a no-go. Custom settings, sharpness, denoise, edit C, aux cameras. So again, if you don't have a magisk module, which means that your phone should be rooted, you will not be able to switch the aux cameras like aux and etc. Plug and play, which means that it does not need XML files, like configuration files, 30x digital zoom, and astrophotography. But you need to stop it with the button, guys. So we're gonna talk about that. HDR plus enhance when taking pictures facing the sun doesn't work. Tap to zoom, tap is bugged, so use pinch to screen, so this doesn't work as well. No raw support, so only available in Gcam 6. There are some questions from some guys on my channel here. How can I import a picture, you know, in a raw format in Snapseed from Gcam 1.8 from Euronic? No, you cannot, guys. And row is not working there. Electronic emissibilization doesn't work, 3060 FP acceleration in video doesn't work and the slow motion doesn't work on GCAM. But guys, what we're gonna do right now here is install the latest version 1.9 and see what are the new things and this time I'm gonna be downloading the clone because I don't want to risk and lose my ultra cam. All right, let's do it now. If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you. I have downloaded now the clone version of the Google camera by Euronix version 1.9. So let's start installing, guys. Do you want to install the application? Of course, so press the install button. We need to wait a little bit here. Now, when the Google camera is installed, usually I am putting it on a common folder, guys. If you are upgrading from the previous one, maybe it's a good idea to just remove the previous one and just install the new one since there are no settings anyway saved. So, now we take the camera 1.9 and we have to put it in my Google camera folder. Oops, it's down below here. Let's start the Google camera Unix version 1.9 for the first time. Okay, cool. Good thing is it runs. So this is again, guys, this is the clone version. I'm going to give the links for the clone app and the regular app. A clone app means that you can use it apparently with other versions of Unix camera or other versions of the Gcam 7.2 cam. So if you want to use multiple versions, then you have to go with the clone. If you don't care about that, you can just go with the original APK. Press allow, allow, allow. All right, see the settings here. So let's just go directly here and info, okay. So very important, Gcam 7.2.0.10 by Unix 05 version 1.9. Okay, so it is the real thing. Okay, save location, I always put it on, always only when using the app, no camera sounds, Google Lens suggestion, framing hints, same selfie, a preview, always on. Social share, I do remove that one, you know. Grid type, I go for the three by three, frequent fences off, and we are now to advanced. Show dirty lens warning, HDR control, HDR plus control, RAW and JPEG again. Store video efficiency, this is to use the latest codec H265HEVC. Lip patcher, you can apparently put this on guys and then you can use the recommended settings. I'm gonna be posting them into the video description inside. Uh, okay, HDR enhancer, we can go 15 to 25. Now, you know in the ultra cam you can go up to 45 I think. Disable zoom in portrait, that's if you prefer it like this. Enable astrophotography and astro exposure time. 59, not sure why it's like this, you can put here 60. All right, and here everything is in automatic, guys. So pretty much nothing has been changed on the surface, all right? But it is still a new version and I will recommend you guys to go and install the latest one. So let's just take one picture here to be sure that everything works and operates like it should be. All right, okay. Okay, all right, yeah. Oh, wow, you see here, even the fiber, the very small hair can be seen. Incredible quality, guys, all right? Very, very good work. I'm gonna keep this video short because there are no major changes, but this is the most important thing you need to know about the latest Unix version 1.9. I hope, guys, that you enjoyed this video, so don't forget to like it and also subscribe for my channel. VST over.